and will approach you. Yet, it is good to speak for their destiny before they come in. Hallelujah. Amen. You speak over their destiny. You claim that you stand the word of God and say, you know what? I'm not going to have a son or a daughter now, but look here, when I do have one, they are very to be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus, no one will be able to be delivered. Hallelujah. Because it is a promise. Amen. Let's go to Jeremiah 1, verse 16 and 17. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. Jeremiah 1, verse, I mean, Jeremiah 31, verse 16 and 17, sorry. Jeremiah 31, verse 16 and 17. You have it, say amen. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 16 and 17. Go ahead, read. Thus says the Lord, uh-huh. Refrain thy voice from weeping, and thy eyes from tears, mm. for thy work shall be rewarded, mm. saith the Lord. Mm. And they shall come again from the land mm. of the enemy. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you right now say, my words shall be rewarded. Your words is the all is going to be rewarded. That means God is going to reward you. Your words, your words shall be rewarded. Do you believe it? Say that. Amen. That's the first key. That your word shall be rewarded. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Thy shall come again mm-hmm. from the land of the enemy, verse 17. Okay. And there is hope in thy end. And there is hope to the end. This is why you can keep hoping. He said, There is hope in thy end. Hope can tell the end. And the Bible says, Hope is the anchor of our soul. Hope is the anchor of our soul. Hallelujah. Hope is the end of, of your soul. Amen. Amen. And a hope make it not a shame. And a hope make it not a shame. Your son might be not, seems like he's not getting it. Keep on praying for him. Amen. And a hope make it not a shame. Because of the love of God is spread abroad by the Holy Ghost which was given unto you. Amen. You see what I'm Hope is the anchor of your soul. Yet we are coming in. See, when you look, when you look at the natural, the natural, amen, will look like what God has promised you. Because In Genesis 1, and I'm going to use this as an example. In Genesis 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was void, and darkness was upon the deep. And that's what the Lord of the Word says, right? Amen? Darkness was upon the deep. Darkness was upon the deep. Now, you might be seeing darkness in the life of your son and God. Darkness. Darkness represents chaos. Their life is chaos. It's chaos. It's mess and you. You, you, look, if you look at it and from a human point of view, you will begin to be, you will begin to get angry. But if you look at it 
according to the word of God and know what God's word is saying for the children, you the seed, you will begin to give God praise. Amen. Amen. God speak light into a chaos. When you see that children is acting chaos, you gotta speak light. You gotta speak the word. The word of God is light. The word of God brings honor. The word of God brings honor. God says, let there be light. Let there be honor. Chaos gotta move when light comes in. Chaos gotta move when light comes in. Once the word of God comes in, darkness is forced to move on. Once the word comes in, darkness has to move out. So when you begin to start praying for your son and praying for your daughter by using using text, using scriptures in Jeremiah 22 and I mean Job 22 and verse 28. Job says, if you decree a thing, if you decree it, it shall be established unto you. So you got to know it. We have to speak it into being. Things don't change by itself. System change things for the bad or for the worse. System. Words, every word are systems. Every word. This is why he says that out of your mouth, by your words you can be justified, or by your words you can be condemned. By your words you can put yourself in prison, and by your words you can lose yourself out of prison. Hallelujah. This is why we cannot speak negative words over our seed. Because we don't walk by what we see, we walk by faith. We don't walk by what we see, but we walk by faith, not by what I see. What you see is temporary. What you see is subject to change. Hallelujah. What you see is subject to change. This is why we have, to, we have to continue to stand on the word of God. Stand on the word of God. And don't need to your own understanding. Because that's where the devil wants to get you. He wants you to need to your own understanding. Try to figure out what's going on. No. You can't figure it out. you got to stand on the word and, and take the word for what it is. Amen. David says that the entrance of thy word, the entrance of God's word, give it light and give it understanding unto the simple. See, our, our seed might be in darkness, they are in darkness. This is why they are doing and behaving the way they behave. But if you begin to pray, you begin to pray. Like David says, that God sends his words and he wants to heal them and he the one to deliver them. Good Jesus. Hallelujah. So the word of God has power to liberate and to transform the minds of us and also our seed. Amen. So your seed, your seed is destined to be saved. Amen. That's it, right? Verse 17. Uh -huh. And there is hope in thy end, says the Lord. There is hope in the end, says the Lord. There is hope. Somebody said there is hope. So there is hope unto the end. Sometimes you, you, the devil can play with your emotion. It makes you feel like you waste a bunch of time. It makes you feel like there's no more hope. 
It makes you feel like you mess up too much. It makes you feel like you can't make a strong comeback. This is when you have to start talking to back, saying that you're never the way you God told me. There's hope even unto the end. The word is hope from the anchor of my soul. With hope, hope is the anchor of my soul. Amen? Hope is the anchor of my soul. So, my soul is anchor in hope. My soul is anchor in hope. My soul is anchor in hope. I don't know when God will do it. But one thing that I know, that God never left the old of time. Amen. 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 I say, He never made the old of time. He's an old time God, and this is what we sing ourselves. He's an old time God. Amen. We sing it. We really need to hear it. <laughs> because we sing a lot of songs, and we need to hear it. Even though some of the songs are out the way, and it sounds a lot of the way. <sighs> I was listening to uh, a gospel song today, and it was, it was really, it was a gospel song that was that really, it was not these modern gospel songs. Because this morning, God is telling me he got no Jesus in it. That's true, Pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. He got no Jesus in it. That's true. That's true, Pastor. They put me in flashback. Because the people is the people. That's true, Pastor. And if you don't watch out, you can dance them. You can use the dance from the dance floor. That's true, Pastor. <laughs> you can dance them right in church. Church is the same thing, Lord. Look at you, good Lord Jesus. Amen. That's my mother. Amen. It got to be a nine month. It got to be a nine. I'm telling you, good Lord. I'm telling you, this place that I can look at. Nothing like this will comfort you. Amen. It will comfort you. Amen. Because a lot of Jesus is in it. Amen. Gospel and all of those beating down yeah. the good yeah. uh, They bring more demon in you. That's true, Pastor. Yeah, they come Amen. The soul. That's it, my brother. That thy children shall come again to their own border. That your children shall come again. Come to your own border. They will come again. And if you don't they fall away, they will come again. You can go they stray away, they will come again. You can go they stop going to church, but they will come again. Hallelujah, they will come again. How do we know they will come again? The word of God says this. So what 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 it what is supposed to do when you hear this word say something, what is it gonna be you? Confidence. 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 And you know, your confidence has to do with your knowledge yeah. of God. Confidence has to do with your knowledge. Your knowledge of God. The more knowledge of God you get, the more confidence you you begin to have in it. You cannot have confidence in somebody that you don't know. Hallelujah. My my confidence in God has to do with the information or the revelation and understanding that I have concerning His will. He is real for me. He is real for me. So my confidence is strong, my faith is strong, and now um, um, I know without a doubt that even though things might not look good, but thank be to God, 
I will walk by how we look. I will walk by how we're going to say about the situation. Amen? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm not looking at how we look. Mm. You know, well, I yes. Amen, don't worry, they're coming in. That's right. And I'm not, I'm not trying to doubt. I'm not trying to, amen, to walk in unbelief. I know my kids is going to be delivered. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to stand on those words and tell everyone of you. Amen. My I'm going to stand on that word. Me too. I'm going to stand on that word and tell your grandkids to get delivered. Amen. Amen. Your grandkids to get delivered. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What do we do with the promise? What do we do with the promise? We wait on it. We wait on the promise. You wait on the promise. You can never make the promise come before the time. Amen. You wait until God brings it into manifestation. But as you are waiting, you already receive it in this spiritual. You already receive it. So you don't give God thanks. You give Him glory. And your son, your son might not understand. And you say, boy, you are you a preach. And you start prophesizing your dad. Oh, you're going to preach here. Oh, you're going to preach here. You're going to preach the word of God. He's not actually here. He's like, you're crazy. Amen. I'm the I'm the thing. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm, the greatest. I'm speaking those things that we don't have good anymore. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. You are going to walk in the calling that God has called you into. Amen. Hallelujah. You are going to walk in that calling. You are going to walk in that Amen. Hallelujah. Oh boy. We got a we got a, a spiritual fight on behalf of our children. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, God, I am so serious. And if you if you take this lightly, the enemy will destroy your dog. The enemy will destroy yourself. If you if you take this lightly, you are in a war for the children. Satan don't want the children to be saved. He doesn't want them to be saved. That's why he fights you every day of the way. He fights you by losing them to fight you. Not ever so. He fights you by using your son to fight you. Or use your daughter to fight you. When they start the baby, where they got Jesus that you say is really truly God. Blind. But we stay looking upon them. There is no God, but we stay looking upon them because we know that there is a God. Is a God. Is and we don't want them to find out the hard way. There is no hell. There is a hell. And we know that there is a hell and that land. And there is no hell. There is a 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 hell. I'm not sure you even believe that that you will keep it from eight. Uh-uh. Or keep it from the earth. Uh-uh. They call the earth modern nature. Oh, God. Let me explain that. The earth never put a child Amen. in life. Amen. That's true. The earth will put no child. Amen. Child or a woman. Yes. So the earth is not modern nature. No. Not true, man. <laughs> they mess up the minds of our children. See, they mess up the mind. We wash them. Yes. Uh, amen. To the point now that they run from Jesus. 